BrothersDeli.com. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She likes the theater and never comes late. Walking into the studio now. Yeah, well, here comes the booze. Jennifer Kim, the lovely Jennifer Kim, Courtney Kadera, the CRM production staff, they are bringing the winning drink That's why into the studio. Is a trend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're all really excited. Uh, guys, I will I will actually hold off the big event until the end of the, the Will link uh, to the movie segment. I do want to announce this, but I think it's really important we get to Will. Because, Will, you had a chance to see one of, probably one of the biggest blockbusters of the summer. I went Well, I went this morning to see uh, Spider-Man, the new Yay. amazing Spider-Man film. And it was it's a solid superhero movie. The The main issue with it is that it kind of feels redundant. We see the whole him getting bit by a spider turning into Spider-Man story that we only saw 10 years ago in the wonderful Sam Raimi version. Was that to- Tobey Maguire in that Toby one? Tobey Maguire. Yeah. This one is Andrew Garfield. But what I think makes this film not feel redundant and breaks out of that is... Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone are both terrific together as Spider-Man and his girlfriend. I heard uh, there was Gwen a lot Stacey. of chemistry there. A lot yeah. of chemistry, a lot of chemistry in real life, apparently oh, too. There are a couple. Oh, so uh, and it 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 shows on the screen. So you know when he first gets bit by the spider, we get to see a lot of him embrace it in a way that maybe we didn't in the Tobey Maguire film. Like he goes and uh, he's playing basketball in one scene. He's doing things that usually nerdy Peter Parker couldn't do. Now, the one thing I, I did hear about this film is that I know that, I guess, in the original Spider-Man series, um, Peter Parker was kind of like a boy genius. Kinda yeah. Like, and, and I guess they do touch on that more they, in this film. They don't harp on it, but they do touch on it. He knows a lot of scientific stuff. Uh, he contacts Dr. Connors, who ends up... He's oh, the, we all know who Dr. Yeah, Connors he's is. he's the yeah. lizard. The lizard, yeah. And he's actually really good, too, as a character, because he's a more sympathetic villain. Like, his goals aren't necessarily villainous to begin with. He's just a troubled scientist. He's a one-armed scientist that was working on a project to to re- regenerate his arm, but in turn, he becomes... He becomes the lizard. The lizard. By injecting, like, reptile, like, DNA and stuff that they've manipulated. I'm already giving a thumb. Thumbs up. I'm it's, a huge fan. It's a thumbs up. It's, now, do you think that younger kids are going to like this, or what age group? I think I think younger kids will will enjoy it. It's not as bright and bubbly, maybe, as the other Spider-Man movies. It's a little darker in tone, oh. but but it, it works. It's nothing that kids couldn't go see. I think. Oh, that's good. And uh, it's no Spider-Man Two, which I still think is one of the best yeah. of the Great Spider-Man film. movies. Yeah. But it holds up there with the one from ten years ago. The oh, first excellent. Spider-Man. Okay, so the Will Link, uh, your rating on this one? I give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up from Will Link for the Amazing Spider-Man. Great. Uh, great. And now we're going to announce the big winner of the summer cocktail. Uh, we have the winning drink is the Melon Colada by Jamie Craig. And you CRN listeners out there, if you want to uh, get your pens and paper, there we go. It's, the studio audience is going absolutely crazy. Yeah. Uh, the Melon Colada, it's one and one half ounce light rum, a half ounce of Midori Melon Liqueur, one ounce cream of coconut, three ounces of pineapple juice, one dash of cream, a uh, half ounce of dark rum, which is optional, and a pineapple wedge. I'm telling you guys, this drink, we're drinking it now in studio. Oh, it's it's good. absolutely amazing. And that cream of coconut really sets it off. This it's is like, good stuff. It's like drinking a slushy or oh, something. It it's so, fantastic. I feel like I'm on the beach of Hawaii right now. But you know what's nice about this? It's so thick that you don't have to just gulp it down and then get drunk and not be able to stand up. I'm getting brain <laughs> freeze. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's too fast. It's good. It's getting a brain freeze from the, oh the melon God. colada. Congratulations, Jamie. We'll be sending you out your CRM prize pack, your autographed copy of Aloha Magnum. And we have yes. something for all of the top three finalists. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. so guys. Delicious, delicious, Absolutely. Guys. Keep your eyes in the mailbox. Once again, the top three contenders, um, 357 Magnum from Paul, the All-American from Kevin Matombo, and the winner, Jamie Craig with the melon colada. Congratulations, Jamie. Yeah. We should have these for every show. We should have these for every show. Yeah. Cheers yeah. to that. Oh, we'll guys. do it again. Ah. There you go, guys. Cheers to that, lady. Oh, sorry, buddy. Got a little after spray there. Here's to the doctor who brought us milk and cheese. <laughs> and to the doctor who cured us to the open mouth disease. Anyway, <laughs> stick, I, stick I, around, I guys.